So recently my cousin hooked me up with this brand new or used laptop. Technically it's brand new because he never used it. But this laptop is 10 times better than my old laptop, 10 times better than my Microsoft Sur Surface Pro. And so far what this means, this means we're going to have better Mark watches, better video editing and more videos because honestly I hate I hate recording and editing videos I'm on, on my Microsoft Surface Pro. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today's our Carver Vanguard standard market watch, meaning in this video we're only going to go for cards in standard format to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. But before we begin, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel more videos. Every Thursday is, is going to be a standard market watch, and every Friday, which is tomorrow, is going to be our Carver Vanguard premium market watch. And if you guys want to make any purchase whatsoever off TCG, TCGPod.com and want to support our channel, we do have a link down below in our, in our description box. If you click it, it'll take you directly to TCGPod.com, and any purchase they make whatsoever off of our link, we get a small percentage, and it is no extra cost. Now, we're going to have another spicy mark watch but keep in mind i think the buyouts are starting to slow down a little bit i mean recently my orders have been going down a little bit i'm not too sure if it's because my, because of my inventory or maybe people are just not buying that but not buying out that many cards as usual i don't know but so far beforehand I'll, i would get like 20 orders a day now i'm getting like 10 to 12 orders a day which is great i mean i'm, I'm still not complaining it's better than getting two orders a day. But anyways, I feel like the market is going to start slowing down a little bit because honestly, the secondary market for Carver Vanguard has been booming way too much. Anyways, let's get off the market watch to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. The first of many buyouts, Cherishing Night Bronze. SPs, only one listing left for $135. Honestly, I'm pretty sure no one is going to buy this SP for more than 100 bucks. That's insane. But the triple R's, there's only two listings left, both of them for 35 bucks each. They're above the market price, market price, 30 bucks. The triple R's, honestly, maybe they actually might sell for 35 bucks each. But there's a little bit, there's a little part of me that's saying I'm pretty sure it's not not gonna sell. For more than thirty dollars, I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys actually think this tripler is worth thirty-five bucks or worth or worth less than thirty dollars, another buyout for Shadow Pavins. Spear Dragons SPs are bought off the market. Market price thirty-one dollars and change. But the triplers only one listing left for twenty-six dollars. Market price fourteen dollars and forty cents. So the SPs are gone, leaving only the triplers at 26 dollars honestly people actually might buy this tripler for 20 for 26 bucks emblem master this grade 2 tripler for dark regulars is getting reprinted in the next fest festival collection and it looks like they're already going down in value and also there's a lot of them on the market so far at the moment market price five bucks and 21 cents but there's 17 listings of this card, which is pretty unusual for a triple R for, from the older set, because usually a lot of triple R's from older sets, there's like only like 10 listings or 12 listings, but there's 17 listings because people are trying to get rid of them now for five bucks and change before they become maybe a $4 card or $3 card. Now there's multiple listings for five bucks and change, but if you actually look at it, people are already undercutting each other by cents, by quarters, by 10 cents or 50 cents. So I'm pretty sure eventually Emblem Masters will become a $4 card, possibly maybe actually may become a $3 card because again, there's 17 listings on the market for this card. So this card is almost overflowing on, this, on the second day of market. But the question is, will this triple R become a $3 card? Will it become less than $3? Who knows? Now, with all the new recent strides that we're getting from Premium Collection, a lot of cards are being bought off the market, and one of them is Solidary Knight Gansalots. This card is slowly leaving the market. Unfortunately, not all rarities are leaving the market. For example, the XVRs are still holding at $46, $47. Market price, 47, 47 bucks and change. Well, technically $48. But the, the Vanguard Collection ones, there's three listings two of them for, for 20 bucks after that 25 dollars and it's above the market price market price 17 dollars and 26 cents okay as for the vrs there's nine listings a bunch of them for 21 dollars they're above the market price market price 16 dollars and 51 cents 
broken. As for the SVRs, only three listings left, two of them for 35 bucks each. After that, $58. Market price, $14.96. Well, technically 15 bucks. So, out of all the GAN slots, they're all going up in the market besides the XVRs. Honestly, at this point, I highly recommend to, to, to just pick up the, the, the Vanguard collection ones. They're 21, they're 20 bucks, but honestly, it holds a higher rarity compared to the VRs. The VRs are $21, which I don't agree with. And as for the SVRs, 35 bucks each, eh, I'm pretty sure it's not going to go past the XVRs. The XVRs are, are still going to hold at 46, 47 bucks. But if you're going to pick up GAN slots, if you want the, the, the nicest high rarity one, I do recommend to pick up the, the XVRs because not only will this card either hold its value, but potentially gain more value in, in the long run. Goddess of the Full Moon Tsukiyomis. The SVRs are about to be bought off the market completely. Market price, $21.22, but there's only two listings left. One for 34 bucks, after that, $56. Now, unfortunately, the VRs are still pretty cheap. The VRs are still holding at, are still holding at the same price as the market price, but the SVRs are being bought off market, which means potentially maybe the VRs will start being bought off market next. But anyways, people are picking up the great three Tsukiyomis. There are even buyouts on Gus Blaster Dragon. Yes, we did get a new broken stride for Shadow Paladins, but honestly, does that mean that Gus Blaster Dragon will go up in value? Let's check. Now, the delete rares, they're slightly above the market price. Market price, $18 and change, and there's only 10 listings, a bunch of them for $24. As for the SVRs, market price, $5.50, but there's only seven listings left, well, one first seven bucks and change after that ten dollars and then after that eleven dollars so even the svrs ghost plastic dragons are up in the market as for the vrs the vrs market price four dollars and 26 cents but there's only four listings left only four one for seven bucks and change after that ten dollars after that twelve dollars so for some odd reason all rarities of, of uh, ghost blaster dragons are up in the market Time for a little bit of penny stocks. This common grade two for Nimbutamas is a $2 card. This card comes from Mah Mahajra Academy Card for Vanker Club, and there's only four listings for this common grade two for Nimbutamas. A bunch of them for two bucks and change, and eventually becoming a $3 card and more. Anyways, market price, 63 cents. This is definitely above the market price. If you guys actually have this common grade two in your bulk piles and your bulk boxes, I do recommend to look for them because this common grade two for the Matamas is actually selling for $2. Honestly, I never thought I would see this again, but perfect risers are going up in the market. The SVRs market price $3.59, but there's only seven listings left. One for 14 bucks after that, 15, 15 bucks, and then after that, $18. $18 for, for, for the SVR Perfect Riser, which used to be three bucks and change. Come on. As for the VR Perfect Risers, market price $1.52. And there's only seven listings left. A bunch of them for three bucks and change. After that, $5. $5. I don't know what's happening. I don't understand why Perfect Riser is going up in value in both rarities. Do I, do I agree with it? Not really. But if you guys agree with it, please comment down below and let me know why do you guys think Perfect Riser is going up in value. Pansy Musketeers are still very much expensive. The Origin Rares are still holding at 17 to 18 bucks. But the Triple R's, the Triple R's are now $15 each with five listings left. Market price, $9.38. Honestly, this grade two triple R should have been reprinted in the festival collection for new nectars, but it, it's whatever. Anyways, the origin rares again, 17 bucks and change. So if you're going to pick up the grade two uh, pansy musketeers, I highly recommend to pick up the origin rares. The origin rares will either hold their value or gain more value in the long run. But I'm pretty sure the triple R grade twos for musketeers are going to go down. Just give it time, especially because again, we are getting the reprinted promo which does the exact same thing as this card. Bowmanes is back on the market and it's back on the market at $18 and more. Seriously? The market price, $8.78. And 
and there's only five listings left. A bunch of them for 18 bucks and change. After that, twenty dollars each. Honestly, wh why did this happen? Where did this come from? Bowmans is now 19 bucks. It used to be a nine dollar card and change. What happened? Pencil Hero Hamske. This grade three tripler for great, for great natures. Well, technically for Hamske's is now worth ten dollars as the market price. Market price is four is five bucks and change. <laughs> as for the listings, there's only five listings left. A bunch of them for ten bucks. After that, twelve dollars. Honestly, I think this grade three tripler for great, for great natures is worth ten dollars because I'm pretty sure this card is what like two years old and it's still a decent grade three because this grade three can still get you an Excel a second Excel circle on turn three very easily i honestly think it's worth 10 bucks if you guys disagree with me and don't think it's worth 10 bucks please comment down below let me know why do you disagree with me and why do you think this card is not worth 10 bucks oracle queen himiko now we did talk about this card in the last market watch i did say that this card would go up in value so let's check the svrs are still holding at 25 25 to 26 bucks but the vrs are up in value with only five listings left uh one for 16 bucks after that 17 bucks and then after that $18. They're definitely above the market price. Market price $9.60. So basically it's double the market price. Oracle Queen Himikos, the VRs are definitely up in value. I definitely did not see this coming. Wandering, Star Hulk, DD, Bryant, Ringers are up in value. The SVRs only five lessons left, a bunch of them for 12 bucks and change, but they're above the market price. Market price $6.26. Okay, so it's basically double the price. As for the VRs, there's only two listings left for the VRs. One for eight bucks and change. After that, $21. I'm sorry, $23. I'm sorry. Market price for the VRs, $4.32. <laughs> Are you, is, is this a joke? Like, like where does this, where did this bio happen? What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where does this bio happen? And why is the VR about to become more expensive than the SVRs? Gonic Overlord the Great. The SVRs, there's one listing for $66. After that, $73. And then after that, $76. Because there's only three listings left for the SVRs. The market price is $36 and change. $36 and change. As for the VRs, the VRs are gone, by the way. They're not there anymore. The VRs are just, they're bought off the market. The market price of the VRs, 32 bucks and change. Honestly, if you guys actually have copies of, of this VR, I'm pretty sure you can get rid of them for 35 bucks, maybe even 40 bucks, but that's kind of pushing it. But but either way, Draconic over the greats, the VRs are gone. So you can only pick up the SVRs for 70 bucks, $70. Come on. Anyways, again, if you guys actually have, if you guys actually do have the VRs, I do recommend to put them on the market. You can get rid of them for 35 bucks and maybe even more. With the new stride that we're getting for Touch Kazes, which does almost the exact same thing and maybe even better than Ang the Anger Boil, Clearout Dragon, the Grade Two Triplers are now twenty dollars because there's only five listings left. Only five listings. Two of them for twenty bucks. After that, twenty-two dollars. Market price. $15.92. What is happening? Last but not least, Champions of the Asia Circuit, because this set is still very much expensive. Ultimate Dimension of Rubble Great Day shows the SVRs, only two lessons left. One for 70 bucks, after that, $90. <laughs> Broken. As for the Maelstrom SVRs, uh, 34 bucks, after that, $40, which is pretty, pretty re reasonable. But the Perfect Guard for Aqua Force, they're gone. They're bought off market. Yes, Aqua Force is still very much meta because, of course, the only meta that we have is Aqua Force and Narukami, and that's going to be meta until things go back to normal. So, of course, the Perfect Guard are bought off market. They're gone. Market price $21 and change. Dandy Guy Romero's are still very much expensive at $35 for three listings. But if you guys don't want to pay that much money for Dandy Guy Romero, I do recommend to wait until August because in August we are getting a reprinted version of this card as a rare. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be cheaper, way more cheaper than $35. As for the VR right there, you <laughs> One for $32. After that, $35. And then after that, $42. Market price. 19 bucks and change. 
with four listings left. Okay. Okay. That's very much expensive. The VR Maelstroms, not the SVRs. We just saw the SVRs for 32 bucks, 35 bucks. But now the VRs, only four listings left, one for $36. After that, $40. So apparently the VR Maelstroms are more expensive than, than, than the SVRs. So if you're gonna pick up Maelstroms, I do recommend to pick up the SVRs. Apparently they're more cheaper than, than the VRs. Uh, title souls the triplers are 11, 11 bucks and change. Let's see what, what else we're gonna find. Rune shades, the origin rares, fifty dollars market price, twelve dollars and change. <laughs> okay, for fifty bucks. Okay, that that's that's very that's very reasonable. As for die dragons, I knew this tripler grade two for, for dimension police should have been reprinted in that in that festival collection because now they're twenty two dollars and more. There's only four listings left, two of them for 23 bucks. After that, $24 market price, $11.78. Okay. Yes, this set is almost three, three years old, but honestly, $23 for die dragons. I never thought I would see this day. The triple I rune shades are still holding at 12 bucks and change. As for dragon undead skull dragons are now nine to ten dollars this grade three double r is now nine to ten dollars with seven listings on the market market price five dollars and 81 cents broken um diamond aces the perfect card for deep lease five six bucks okay but it it, it is game reprinted in, in the festival collection and Dimensional Robo Die Braves are holding at five bucks, which I'm pretty sure they're going to go down because it, this card is also being reprinted in the festival collection. So guys, that's today's Mark Watch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did indeed enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Every Thursday is going to be a standard Mark Watch, and every Friday, which is tomorrow, is going to be a Carver Vanguard Premium Mark Watch. And yes, today's Mark Watch was a bit spicy, especially cards especially cards from the champions of the asia, of the asia circuit from now on i'm gonna call that champions of the i take your wallet because that set is getting very expensive all the cards in this set are just up in value seriously dragon undead skull dragons 10 bucks die dragons for for deep police 22 dollars <laughs> it is a good time to be a reseller for card of vanguard Anyways, again, guys, like I said, I'm going to start setting up my new laptop. Hopefully it shouldn't be that hard. And hopefully we're going to have better market watch videos. We're going to have better video editing and we're going to have more videos to come because like I said, I hate editing videos on this Microsoft Surface Pro. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Deuces.